What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahoney here with Darium's Competitive Pokemon. Going to be playing another game on PTCGO with Volcanion EX. So, trying out a couple new things in here. We still got that Ho -Oh GX in my list right now. Just giving that a test run to see how we like it. It's been hot and cold for me. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's not so good. So, interested to see how it continues to work in here. I was originally very much not sold on the card, I didn't think it was all that great. But I'm starting to see the merits. Just having someone you can attach four energies to that's guaranteed 180 damage. Very strong. You know, it doesn't lose his energy like Turtonator does. And you can power it up with a Nitro Tank or with Kiawe and just get out there and start swinging away pretty early. That being said, even though you could get out there with Ho Ho early, it's just not like a very stable board position. It's not a very stable way to run a game. You know, I mean, like, it's just very uh, kind of. It's like a glass cannon, you know, the ho-ho goes down. Steamway Wayhander is saying hello. Hello, Stemway Wander. Wander. Sorry for butchering your name there, Stem. But uh yeah, so uh I don't know. I don't know. It's kinda like it's very precarious doing the the whole ho ho thing. So still trying to figure out whether or not I love it. I am going to Wonder Tag. We got a whole heck of a lot of energy there in that opening hand, so it's a little bit awkward. I don't necessarily want to just Sycamore them all away. I think I would prefer to end. But if we do hit an early Nitro Tank, that could be good. So I think probably actually going to go for that. I'm going to grab that Sycamore. And we're just going to hope that we are able to get an early Nitro Tank GX. So I'm going to throw that there. And let's see. One, two, I'm going to throw this there just so that I can retreat it in case I need to. I'm not going first, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, this is pretty interesting of a hand we got ourselves here. Fantastic. All right, so that's fine, and we'll just go ahead and pass it on to you. I have a Sycamore, so it looks like next turn I may end up having to Sycamore three max elixirs or I am just going to put them put all of my energy onto this Tapu Lele that would be great huh let's see what my opponent is playing it looks like they are playing Mega Rayquaza if I had to guess that is not seem like a great matchup for my turtles over here my turtles and my Volcanians starting out with a couple trainers males they got the Skyfield in play already I saw some fire and water Pokemon though so I'm not exactly sure what kind of Mega Ray deck they're playing. About to go in here with an Ultra Ball. Let's see what kind of things they get. Uh, so we can learn a little bit about this deck that they're playing. They're Ultra Balling away Fire Energy. Huh. I don't know. Skyfield? I mean, I guess they could be playing Volcanion. Yeah, they're playing Volcanion. All right. So they're playing Volcanion and they're playing Skyfield because they play the Hoopa engine still. They are just playing a Turbo Volcanion deck. I like that. That's pretty cool. They're playing very old school. Grab the Hoopa, the Scoundrel Ring, get your Volcanions out. Very neat. Now, their turn one seems to be working a lot better than mine, but that's what their deck's designed to do, you know? I mean, they're playing the Turbo Engine of this deck. It's supposed to be consistent, fast. I mean, yes, it burns way more items than, you know, the average uh, Volcanion deck, modern Volcanion deck does. But they are probably just building this deck in a way that they anticipate losing to Garbodor decks, you know, most Garbodor decks. But they probably figure that Garbodor loses to uh, Gardevoir. So they don't really mind taking a loss to Garbodor because... And slap that thing down. And then let's see, what do we want to do? We could Max Elixir like a bunch of energy and then Guzma. If we hit two of these Max Elixirs, we're in. However, I only have like eight, seven fire energy left in deck. There's one. All right, let's see if we could do it. I would love to be able to take a knockout here. I think that'd be kind of funny. Oh, and we did it. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm going in. What do you guys think? You think we should go in? I mean, that. This is what I would call probably an irresponsible play, but at this point, I'm drawing so awkwardly bad that I think I just want to do it. So let's Guzma out their Volcanion and see what we could do. All right. I don't really want to use that Max Elixir or anything else. I'm just going to go ahead and Volcanic Heat. Let's take them out. 
super weird interaction that Volcanion is weak to Volcanion, so the mirror ends up just being super weird. We were able to get another basic, so that's fantastic, because ho -Oh is just uh, someone not named Tapu Lele who we're going to be able to lean on here. Uh, sorry if you guys see the uh, connection being a little laggy over here at Kevin's right now, so don't know exactly what's going on. Maybe Kevin's uploading videos, something like that, but anyways. Um, yeah, we got the Ho-Oh though, so super stoked on that. That's gonna help us out because we're gonna be able to start to pile energy on that thing. You know, and what a weird start for me. It looked like my opponent was surely had the upper hand, but now they find themselves in a weird position where their Volcania just got wiped out. Turn two, they probably just did not see that coming. My board position, just two Tapu Lele. It was able to just fire off a Volcania that quickly. That is wild. And, you know, I had, I have added the third Max Elixir back in here. I do think Max Elixir is really good. I have another knockout. Let's do this thing. All right. Let's take Guzma. And we are going to go ahead. Okay. My opponent is probably just going to be so frustrated that I'm going to take this entire game with one Volcanium. But I'm going to do it. So we're just going to retreat. He's good to go now. Let's see. Let's try to max elixir onto my Ho-Oh. Done. We have not, even though we have so many fires of the discard pile, I just want to mention that we have not missed that yet. And I'm going to put a float stone here. Just kind of preparing for the end of the game. And let's just, uh, and let's just put a fury belt here. You know, honestly, I don't really care where the tools are. I'm just anticipating an end to one situation or an end of two situation. So I'm just trying to play those cards, get them out of my hand so that I don't draw them when I get end of two inevitably. Now my opponent has got to be a little concerned about how things have escalated. This is a crazy Volcania mirror already. I mean, no matter how this, as you can see, I did get end of two. So pretty glad that I thinned that out. But no matter how this game, you know, shakes out from here, I mean, you can't deny that it was at least pretty exciting, right? I mean, so that's pretty cool. Don't think my opponent is going to be able to whip up this Volcania out of nowhere, but they're going for it. If they hit another Max Elixir, they can come and return the knockout, and then the dream might be dead, folks. I don't really have a lot going on, so um, you can see that I did. I took the energy off of this Tapu Lele for the retreat. I wanted to put the Floatstone on my active Volcania instead of putting it on the Lele. All right, so we don't have another. Volcanic Heat, unfortunately, but we do have a Nitro Tank GX, so that's awesome. And I did, oh, that is fantastic. Yes, I did uh, get a Sycamore and a Fire Energy, so we're going to be able to retreat. My opponent is probably just so pleased that I did not just fire off another insane Lysander play. Let's just go ahead and solidify this board position. We are going to Nitro Tank for five. Awesome, so we're going to put, at this point, we're going to sure up this game by putting four on our ho -Oh and two on our Turtonator. And that way we have three fully powered Pokemon. There's no way my opponent is going to be able to get me out of a win here, I don't think. I just have it. At this point, you know, Turtonator can Bright Flame for game, Volcanion can Volcanic Heat for game, and ho -Oh can Phoenix Burn for game. So really love that Ho-Oh there, just super cool. Even with the with the Fury Belt, now he can knock out Turtonator for game, being able to hit for 190. So just super cool. I'm very satisfied. My opponent has got to be wondering what they could do to try and survive this turn. I mean, they definitely, they scoop. So we got there. Unbelievable. What a comeback. What a crazy game. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of Volcanion. GX, what you guys think of the deck, how you think it's going to function in the upcoming standard format in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching. Peace.